All right, so uh, we got the tree put up. Um, Caitlin and I are just getting ready to head up to the cabin without the kiddos because it's our anniversary, which is kind of fun. Um, I did get Caitlin a little anniversary gift, which I'm going to give to her right now so you guys can see. Um, hang on, let me make sure she's in the kitchen though. Okay, we're good. Yeah. I kind of hit it. There it is. Okay. Just a little box. Okay, babes. Hang on. You ready? No. We got Chick Fil A for dinner too, so I even, it's all nice and fancy wrapped too. <laughs> oh, lots of glitter. Box just inside a box. What could it be? <laughs> what could it be? Diamond earrings. Yep. I'm so excited. She wanted them the other day. Did. She didn't uh, realize what she had said, and that I was actually paying attention because I do pay attention sometimes. So, yep, I got her some diamond earrings. They're really pretty. Let's do it. We have made it to the cabin. Got our bed made up. TV, right next to the TV. Wife likes to watch TV right before bed, so might as well. <laughs> Hi, babe. And we're right next to the fireplace. Can't forget about that. Ooh, we have a hot cocoa maker up here. I may make some my hot cocoa. Caitlin and I are, of course, on our anniversary at the cabin, but we are gonna go uh, try to take some cute couple photos. We haven't had those in a while. Done one of those. So we're gonna go get a drink first and try to find a road or something that we can set up the tripod and grab. Maybe something like that. All right, there might be kind of cool. Can't really see it. Hang on, let's see here. Uh, right there, kind of like that roadway. Looks pretty cool. We might try to find something like that to take photos, but we'll see. Let's do it. All right, guys, we just did photos right there. Looks pretty good. Looks really good. So hopefully those turn out. Um, we're gonna head back to the cabin and get warm because it is freezing out here and I don't like cold. So let's head home. That's great sawtell there behind us. We've been up there quite a few times. You guys have seen that on the vlog. Big ball is for uh, air traffic control something or other. I don't know exactly, but it's something for airplanes. That's all I know. Um, okay, I'm gonna need the car. It's cold. All right, so Caitlin and I did our family photos, or a couple photos, I should say. And on our way home, I stopped by Max Inn here. Had to get a shot of some of these reflections. They were just gorgeous. And uh, way out there near that island, you guys probably can't see it out there, but way out there near the island, there was a bunch of swan, there were swan and a couple ducks and geese. And so I was like, hey, I should probably stop by and get some of those. So I uh, parked. Caitlin walked back to the car, because it's freezing out here. Um, hopefully my long exposure has turned out because uh, I was on a bridge. Sometimes with semis and cars go across, it causes vibration. So hopefully that didn't disrupt the long exposures too much. Um, but man, is it cold, but gorgeous. It is so pretty out here, everybody. Um, yeah, should be good. There's wifey in there. She's just chit-chatting on her phone. It's really pretty. Really pretty. Whew. Man, like I said, like a thousand times. I keep saying it, keep saying it, keep saying it. It is cold. Alright, I just 
came back to another location that I uh, spotted during the summertime and the water is not fully frozen here yet. So I'm gonna come over here and try to grab a couple snaps. It is gorgeous, like all oh, the geese are flying off now. That's all good. Um, I'm gonna try to get another angle of uh, sawtelle. Just give it a whirl. It is quite deep snow. It's like a big truck's been in here at some point. Um, man, lighting today is just gorgeous, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is gorgeous, everybody. Straight up gorgeous. Let's see if you can hear the geese. That is absolutely insane, everybody. I am frozen. Wife is probably wondering if I died or not because she's back in the car. Um, but I got some of the coolest photos tonight, guys. That was absolutely insane. Um, birds were crazy. Color, this color in the sky was just un unreal. Words truly cannot describe the color that was in the sky tonight. Man, it was gorgeous. I can't get over that. I am very thankful I stopped by here. Um, yeah, that is just really pretty. I'm thankful it was, uh, wasn't quite fully iced over yet too. That makes it really nice so that you're able to see uh, some of the water, get that smooth look. It's still a little bit rough, but man, that was just absolutely insane. One of the cooler experiences I've had in photography here. Anywho, I'm gonna go get the wife and I some dinner. We haven't had a whole lot to eat today, so we're gonna head back. Not really head back, but we're gonna head somewhere, grab some food. Anywho, I think I might call this the end. You may see us again, but I don't think so. Anywho, peace out, guys. Start up the snow blowers. Um, we've got to actually plow, I'll show you here. It's gonna probably get a little bright, hang on. Oh, that's the wrong direction. We've got to plow all this out. Um, we usually plow this over all the way to the, the logs over there. Um, but they've just been plowing this out for us, so we now need to plow that out so we have more parking. It is a gorgeous day. So let's get started. Should be good. Should be a good day. Well, that is all finished up. Got it all plowed out. That is like super bright for you guys. Um, well, the wrong direction. Got it all plowed out. Sweet. So now we are just gonna probably pack up and get ready to take off, um, head home, save my parents from the kiddos because the kiddos probably have been messes, who knows. Um, yeah, it has been a wonderful time up here at the cabin. I, I always love it up here, it's great. Anywho, peace. <laughs>